Yoski. Another week and another project. Uh, this one of the kind that's really difficult to film because it's uh, relatively big and already hanging on the wall and uh, yeah, but uh, project 95, a custom box uh, shelf from April of 2024. Now for a change, I will not start with context because I really cannot see any way where it isn't painfully obvious what this is for and uh, why it exists. So yeah, with that out, this is not a scratch build, it's a product that has been hacked to make it look like that and I'm really like happy with uh, how it looks, it's a joke onto itself. But yeah, let's talk about the product. So the product uh, is a netrack. A netrack is basically a very cheap, like optimized for low price, sheet metal enclosure that's uh, intended to be used at your small office so that you can put your networking gear, you know, your switch, your hub, uh, your whatever cabling uh, on a wall and uh, in a neat way. So it has some features uh, for that. And as I said, it's cheap. It's just sheet metal banded construction. There is a couple of pop rivets, but you know, don't worry, no proper fasteners or anything expensive. Now, the thing that makes it a net rug and not just like a shelf is that it doesn't have a back plate. So the back side of it, you know, like behind, there's nothing there, it's empty. What you get is, or at least what you're supposed to get, it's a nice plywood board with the idea that you first screw your networking gear and cables into the board and then attach the board to the sides of the enclosure. But at least in my case, all I got was a really crappy single-use particle board of like the lowest quality. So if you manage to screw something in, if you take it out, it's just gonna not work anymore. But, you know, fortunately, this is not my use case. Now, in terms of features still, both on the top side and the bottom side, you have perforated uh, shapes for different sized holes, you know, like the square ones uh, and the circular ones. So you can just pop them out with a screwdriver and uh, basically route your cables uh, in a neat manner. And last but not least, uh, as you have probably figured out, this has a locking mechanism here, a lock. This is obviously not a security feature, it's uh, more like idiot proofing, <laughs> so you know, your random employees won't be messing out with your networking equipment. But yeah, in any case, that's the product. Now, what are the hacks? Well, the most obvious one is that uh, there is a window now. This is a 4mm plexiglass glued on the, from the inside. So doing that, you know, first of all, you need to remove the door, then cut out suitably sized shape. I mean, in this case, it's a square. I mean, the box itself is a square. It's 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters and about 14 centimeters deep. So yeah, you cut out um, the shape for your window, cut out your window uh, before you actually start gluing it a nice paint job. So again, this is not the one the project just, you know, like just waiting for the paint to dry is gonna take some time. And I mean, sheet metal working, uh, nothing fancy or difficult, but also not super easy if you live in a shoebox, but doable. And yeah, you paint it, you glue your acrylic from the other side. Now, the white strips that you see here, this is like a decorative arts and crafts uh, foam, like with adhesive backing, you buy it in sheets. So this was my idea. Like, I liked it both visually that, you know, it matches the sides. It also adds some depth to it because this is like a two millimeters thick. And it also, and most importantly, hides the fact that I am not able to like cut out a perfect square or perfect anything with a jigsaw. So, you know, multi purposes uh, on that front. And it, I think it looks really nice that <laughs> my joke here, I, I don't speak Japanese, but I can use a translator. So maybe some of you will actually get it because <laughs> I think it's, I mean, it makes me chuckle on my kind of humor. Now, these are not the only hugs, although these are, I think, the most important ones, but not actually the most important. This stuff here is basically cosmetic. What is important is that this box doesn't come with a floor. And that's obvious because you're supposed to put your stuff in the bag and I think now it's clearly visible that there is like a no backing plate, no back side to it. So the most important thing technically was making a floor. Maybe, maybe you can see here, well, we'll see with B-roll. 
but basically making the floor, which I think in this case is made from white ABS, because that's what I had like large enough to just cut and fit in here. And of course there's like this space, which is empty. So what I've decided to do, I've just put uh, like walls from PVC, so just pieces of PVC. I think it's like one, two and three so that it sits on that and you know mechanically that's good enough and the bonus point with having this space here is that as you should have noticed this has internal light which is technically wireless because the battery is actually a 9 volt battery sitting be below the floor and you know you might be wondering well might be wondering so i could have made it so that it's actually connected uh, to mains but i didn't want another set of cables. I'm actually running out of sockets around here and it's already an electrician's nightmare. So, you know, I do not actually change my games so often that I would be worried about the battery. I mean, honestly, this mostly sits here closed. I think at best, maybe if I open it twice a quarter, that's, you know, I think right now, just showing you the video, <laughs> there's gonna be more traffic here than uh, in a year. But uh, yeah, and as you can see, there's, uh, there are some like problems. Well, I wouldn't call them problems, but smaller things like the LED tape here, it's kind of not adhering. It must have been that I didn't clean the, uh, the surface properly or just like treated the surface uh, with a file just to make it more amenable to have LED light strip there. But yeah, nothing you know, like wrong with that. And yeah, so that's the box, that's the first thing in terms of having a hack but now as you can see these uh, all the boxes they sit in those uh, uh, holders which are another product that i hacked but this was such you know like not much effort needed that i didn't even assign it like a project number but yeah i mean before we get to that and even to get to that i think we're gonna need to get this stuff out of here but uh, I guess I have some powers now, you know, uh, let's see how that works. So yeah, as you can see, no time at all and even less effort. Now it's plainly visible that there is no backplate. It's just the yellowing wall, which is fine because you don't see it anymore. You see, you don't have to paint it. And uh, yeah, I will... And we are back at the bench, but before we continue, I must confess that indeed the original plan was for the box shelf to have an additional shelf in the middle so you would have the bottom layer and the bottom stack and the top stack but unfortunately as it often is the case reality won and there was simply no space whatsoever to fit anything that would make any sense there even you know very thin aluminum plate you wouldn't be able to like even squeeze them so the plan has been abandoned, but still, again, engineering, this stuff is not used often enough. Um, that it's fine as long as it looks cool, and I think it looks really cool. So, you know, we're perfectly fine with just having stacks and uh, the minor inconvenience that if there's something on the bottom, sometimes I will need to, you know, like lift something up. But anyways, let's get to the holders. So the main thing about the holders and why I had to hack them is that I needed to be able to grab a whole stack and move it around without you know much fuss again this is not like a travel solution it's uh, for home use uh, not very often so yeah i mean let's see what the actual product is and the product itself without the hug it's a uh, mech i guess at the best and yeah apologies for my hands they somehow have to you know do the work but yeah so the stuff that you buy is this darker plastic, uh, it's a, a holder, I think it's like what, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, exactly, so a dozen game boxes, and you know, this part, this acrylic, it's uh, my hack here, so without it, if you just put it down, I mean, the games, they will sort of stick, but... Uh, not really, I mean, this will work as long as you do not touch it, which is this sort of a solution. If you want to be able to move it, they will immediately fall out, which is not nice. So yeah, this uh, simple, super simple stuff, so not even counted as a project. 
and yeah, I can even measure it because I have my scale here. So yeah, this is like five centimeters and then as long as this thing was. Now those things, they are relatively cheap and again, uh, mediocre product, but as long as you don't touch them, they will do their job perfectly well. And I already bought four of these and three of those have been hacked because again, I won't be spending time doing stuff if I don't need to. And uh, yeah, so that's the idea. You put two of them at the bottom and then you stack the third one at the top. And there's still plenty of room in this uh, box to grow because that was another thing. The place where I was keeping my games before, well, I ran out of space, you know, the usual things you do uh, in a shoebox. So that was a solution that also provided for some space for the future. And yeah, don't judge me on the game selection. Uh, I think Switch is a pretty good platform. We'll see how the successor will actually do. Anyways, uh, thanks uh, for watching. Uh, I hope this was, again, inspiration must flow. Do stuff, please make things, uh, put them on the internet and share back. Have a good time of day. Bye. Do I want to do any? I want to so let me back. I think I will rather have game to actually quarterly. Just in case you thought the previous angle was bad, <laughs> this is even worse, but... Barely fits. And we're done here.